everybody welcome in to our first affiliate stream i'm so excited i'm technically professional now <laughs> welcome in everyone today is going to be a little bit different in celebration of reaching our three average viewers we had a goal um incentive and that was that people could help decorate my atrium so if I zoom out here, the atrium, you can see it's kind of bare bones. There's not a lot to it. So we're going to uh, going to take some suggestions on how to decorate it. Are you feeling motivated because the storm is approaching? Yes, it's a meme reference. <laughs> Let's see. I'm super excited, so yes. I would say I'm prepared for the storm. Bring it on! But, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our art setup. Got a rare full-body shot of me just then. I just realized, like, that never happens on stream for some reason. Let's go over to the art setup. Okie dokes. I'm gonna turn this on. We're gonna have some music. I'm gonna shrink myself into place. Whoop. Okie doke. And uh, yeah, it's just basically I'm taking suggestions on how to decorate the atrium. It could be literally anything because most of it is synthetic with the exception of my sunning rock. Uh, so we can program pretty much anything in. Anything you guys desire. But it's pretty naked right now. The only two decorations I have are my dinos. Uh, one of them's a uh, Gashapon that Ham and I got. And, and then one of them's a balloon left over from the Sweet Home Uboon album release. But I just love him! He's just a cute little dino balloon! So I don't know, it's, it's a very naked looking atrium. We can definitely add a bunch of stuff to it. But uh, you may drop your suggestions in the chat at any time. I am... Hello, space friends! Hi, Mondi! We're decorating the atrium today. I don't know if you have your... your audio on, but if you have a suggestion, just go ahead and plop it in. So anything doesn't have to be canon. Since it's an atrium that can synthesize a bunch of random junk, whatever we code into it, it could literally be anything. So yeah, it could be... absolutely anything. Within reason, of course, I'm not into, like, NSFW stuff, so that, that won't be appearing in the atrium. But other than that, any suggestion is allowed. So yeah, it can be whatever. Obviously. Well, not- I wouldn't say obviously. There are, are some people who do not know that level of filtration and do not care to have it. And that's fine for them. That's their choice. But for here, we're trying to keep things a little say-so. Nice and wholesome. We don't want uh, anything else. Better to know than act, especially if you can adapt. Yes. Yes, indeed. Like interplanetary adaptation, ooh, yes. I just doodle some things while I'm waiting for suggestions. Random nonsense, because I want to. I return my. My brush down. Since it's on that background, let's make it white. Do you like my corals? They're so cute. 
Just like my home. That's kind of what the coding is for right now. It's it's my little sunning rock on Ubuntu that I like so much. But, uh... Kind of naked. You never realize how desolate this side of Ubuntu is. This is the sunny side. But, I mean, it's a great place to catch sun. So... That's where I, uh, where I coded for. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna do some random nonsense in the meantime. By the way, we, um... We have been animating for the future trailer and we're super excited. Uh, so there's that that we've been working on. We've got a couple of community goals right now. If you contribute your galaxy gummies, we can convince Sunny to uh, let you guys throw things at me. She's not too keen on what she perceives as allowing violence, but uh, I think we can convince her if we pay her off, of, you know, just a, just a little bit of uh, bribery. Just a smidge in a bribery. I love this song. just my follower goals because while I wasn't even streaming I we reached our goal and that's because Amandi has been really aggressive in telling people about us you know this is a song sister song um so let's throw up Doodle, little song, sister. I like song sisters. They're fun to draw. What's not to love about a space gastropod that can curl up? Spots on this sister. Do they have spots? I like the background music. Thank you. This is uh, on the Sweet Home of Boom album. It was the second song, or the first song I had made, inspired by the Song Sisters. I always like their songs. They're like a, a fun desert vibe in my head, because that's kind of where they live. Get a little song sister there. By the way, these are just doodles. I'm I'm got no idea what I'm gonna decorate this atrium with. For some viewer suggestions before I uh This existence reminds a Ben 10, yeah, Ultimate Alien episode where a protagonist visits a water planet. And there's a creature who gives air to non-native species to one human in peril, like a bubble helmet. Uh, yeah, I know Ben 10. I only caught a few episodes of Ultimate Alien. 
All right, let me, let me go look this up. Because I like other foreign terrestrials. Let's see. Bin 10 ultimate water alien. Okay, yeah, I did, um... I did kind of see this one. Let's see if I can pop it over here to show you guys what our friend SBG was talking about. Nope, <laughs> that's not it. Uh, remove. Yes. This existence have links for looking inspirations towards making a creature who gives air to those creatures. And begin uh, and beings in need of uh yeah compatible air gets that's cool. Let me here's our Discord link if you will go and uh put it in our Discord I will pull it up. Let me pull Discord up over here instead. So I can show it on screen. There we go. But yeah, we'd love to see it. Meanwhile, let me pull up mine. Uh, what channel? You can uh, just go ahead and put it in just palling around. Or DMs? DMs fine too. You can DM me or you can just put it in palling around. Just the general chat. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. I'm going to see it either way. I'm going to place my gilly little eyes all over it. It's whatsoever is easier for you. Testing, I see your test. Yes. Okay, yes, this little guy. <laughs> that is cute. So, um, are you submitting him to be a, an atrium decoration? Or are you just showing off fun stuff for me? I need to know. That way I can get this. This is the little guy. For those of you who do not know. Uh, saved Kevin, the enemy turned friend uh, from drowning. He's just like a cute little bubble creature. Lives on a planet that's like completely water. I love how he's all eye. <laughs> Just all eye. Let me see. I'll place him here and then let's, um, kind of lower which level he's on. Oops, nope. Oh, 
There we go. No, I didn't want to do that again. It, it, it really wants to be grouped with those things. He's very into pride. Which I don't blame him. Okay, you know what? He's gonna stay where he's at. <laughs> he's a stubborn little dude. I'm gonna move him a bit. Good golly, Miss Molly, where did he go? Here we go. As there's a balloon creature seen in this planet, you can inspire a balloon-like creature who floats freely in the air. Those are just ideas. Possibilities are endless. That would be kind of neat. What should our balloon creature look like then? Let's do some doodles. I'm gonna turn that layer off. That's our waiting for Suggesto. Maybe, let's see, there's this big space here. We could have him kind of hanging out over here in the distance, somewhere around here. Let's do a, a doodle, a little doodle. Oh, if you guys have ever, there's this show that's like, um, imaginative biology. What's it called? It's like weird worlds or something like that. Basically, it's speculative biology on what would happen on alien worlds. Okay. Balloon creatures on Google says SBG. Let's go take a look. I need to pull up this. Hey, Cryptic, welcome in. You know, I need to give you and Amandi some shout outs. We're taking suggestions for atrium decorations, Cryptic, if you think about anything that could be added. We are going to add a balloon creature, as uh, suggested by our friend SBG. So let's look up a uh, balloon-like creature. Oh, this is so neat. So I don't know about you, but I got a lot of gelatinous uh, fish like Man of War and uh, some jellyfish adjacent critters. And those are really pretty looking. So we can definitely do that. Uh, but first things first, shout outs to my friends. We'll start with Amandi, because they came in at first. I remember this one. This one was quite the nail biter. This guy's literally running around with like a hair of a life. Oh no. Like, and Amandi was so close to dying, it was crazy. Yeah. He had like a hair of a life. Yeah, it was a really close call. <laughs> and then um Amandi was almost completely obliterated. It, it was quite the epic experience. Let's give our friend Cryptic a shout out. He's exactly six of the. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, I was here for this one. Nice. Nice. 
for those of you who don't know, there's like a, a blast counter on Metroid. And he got to to 69. It was was the joke. Okay. Let me turn this back down. We'll turn our music back on. Nice. Yes. I I thought I had that set to only be redeemable once. I'll have to check that out later. Okay, balloon creature. So we can have them be like... a dangly... clear guy? Do you have to... Do you have it limited to per person or per stream? I thought I had it set to one per stream. But I could be wrong. I do things wrong all the time. I can check right now, actually. I'm here. Let's see. Nope, I had it in the wrong field. Okay, that explains it. It was on per person. But now it is changed to be proper and correct and all that jazz. All that jazzness. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you that point back. Let me see if I could do that. I know it's one gummy in the scheme of things. Uh... There we go. But it's one gummy more you can have for your bag of gummies. Maybe they can have eye spots like Galobians. They're kind of at the top. I don't know, SBG, since it's your ad, you can also feel free to contribute in its, uh, its design, of course. Let's give him some more. Let's give him, like, a wispy. Bag of jelly beans. Yes, we can do that. So let me, uh... Make a new layer. So here's here's the question, Cryptic. Do we want to do a bag of jelly beans? Or do we want to do the Jelly Belly Factory five pound canister of assorted jelly beans? <laughs> you know, the kind you get when you visit the factory. Do we want it to be the bag or the big honkin' jar you could get at like Costco and stuff? <laughs> We can get a bag of jelly beans. It's just a placeholder, so I remember. There we go. Your artistic freedom is something this existence admires, so feel free to do something based on the idea. Uh, I think this existence has done the part of helping with the initial idea. Yes, that is a-okay. I just wanted to let you know it's there if you want it. Let's give him like some little... little grabbers. Also, did you know you can change the name of the channel points on Twitch? I thought I did. Is it not Galaxy Gummy? Nope, it didn't save. 
welcome to my life where I can't do anything right the first time. I'd be nowhere without my friends. Okay, I think it should be saved now. Yes. Galaxy Gummy. Let me uh, change that to be plural. Gummies. There we go. Now it is appropriate. Also, congratulations on affiliate. Oh, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys, you really don't have to spend money on me, but thank you. Just you guys being here is just so meaningful to me. Like, I would have never had gotten to where I was without all of your guys' support and stuff. I came into uh, Twitch with nothing, no connections or anything, and that was a horrible idea. You, you literally have such a better time when you've got friends to hang out with on Twitch. Oh my goodness, I, I kind of love them. SBG, I kind of love them. to have like a derpy smile. <laughs> a mouth would make no sense on this creature. You're already seeing it. You love it. Yes. I think this will be our our little floaty dude. Have a good lurk, Cryptic. Thank you for stopping in and contributing a beautiful bag of jelly beans to the atrium. It was good to see you today. Slowly you bring things out. You d d dedicated weekly with streams and you did it. Yes, um, I did my best, that's for sure. But I couldn't, again, I couldn't have done it without all my space friends helping me. Let me, let me see. I like him like this. We'll make him kind of clear. Maybe I'll give him like a little ribbing because I've seen a lot of the gelatinous creatures have this. They're gelatinous, but they kind of have a ribbing to them. So I'll give him like a little bit of colorful like rainbow ribbing, I think. Kind of like the, the comb jellyfish. Let me pull up a picture for those of you who don't know what a, a comb jellyfish is. This is a comb jelly, and they've got this rainbow ribbing on them. Kind of like uh, gamer lights, but biological. So let's give up some just like really great iridescent rainbow ribbing. I think that would be fantastic, and then he'll be kind of clear like this. With the exception of the eye spots. Okay, since I have not had any more suggestions, we're going to go ahead and move into the the next phase of making these a reality. Since this guy is going to be clear, we'll get a white color. Let me go ahead and change this one to multiply. And we're going to darken its color so it comes through. While we're working. I think I can lower this a bit. We'll start out with kind of a circle, I think. I 
wanted to be a perfect circle. He's kind of gelatinous, right? So we can leave it kind of like an imperfect circle. Let me just kind of fix this shape here. to be a little thinner so let's turn the brush down you can't really see me for the jelly comb huh I'm gonna shrink this down and put it like right here There we go, and then we'll do another leg. I'm gonna take care of this one. This one little stray line there. Plugging my OCD a bit. Okay. Let's find a good transparency for him. We'll do about 50 for the first layer. And I'm going to do a clipping mask. So let's, let's turn this up. So it's at 65. Because we need to get in some Uh, overlaps. That's not really working, so let's not do a clipping mask. Guess has to be added with an S in the command to make it work. Yeah, I, um... Oh yeah, that's true. I will get that fixed. Right now. I never noticed that. That'll be in timers. Uh, edit. Now it should be telling people the appropriate thing. This existence can add, modify, or remove commands with Nightbot. This existence has been helping 
uh, over 20 channels as a moderator, so next time you won't be interrupted. Let me give you... Uh, thank you so much for offering. Let me um, give you mod status. want help, of course. I, like I said, I am nothing without the help of my friends. So I just need to, um, get you into mod status real quick. Let's see if it'll let me do it here. Let me do forward slash mod SPG Boop. There we go. And let me make sure you're a mod here in Nightbot. It has been successful. Yes. Hello, Maestro. We are, um... You can write uh, on chat mod username in case you're looking for something fast. Yeah, I, I did that. So you should be able to do that now. Uh, you should have mod. Yep, you've got the little mod uh, icon now. Welcome in, Maestro. We're doing uh, atrium decorating today. I have been suggested a floating jelly-like friend, which is the one we're working on, and a bag of jelly beans. So if you have any idea for decorations in the atrium, feel free to plop them down in the comments. Right now we're working on our, our little jelly friend here that can help people breathe in unstable environments. Really, we just want the second layer to kind of be where there's an overlap and Clear flesh, I guess you can say. This is kind of like a tail back there. Body bows toward you like high royalty. This existence won't fail you with this neon sword. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. You're so precious. Okay, um. Yeah, so just a uh, normal, normal stuff, you know? Um. Getting things figured out finally. Now that I have a fish, you'll. So excited. Okay. Um, and then probably like this. Yeah. And then kind of around the whole perimeter again. Uh, yeah, stacks. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I was over at Amandi's stream whenever he was like, Do you want me to call you Stacks or Susie? It's Stacks. Welcome in. Interesting. There's a ban removal request. Time for a look on this part. Really? I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. Welcome in uh, again, Stacks. Thank you for becoming a space friend. I know we were. We were not streaming whenever you came by, became a space friend, but thank you. You got us to our goal. Like that, that was huge. I was really happy. But uh, welcome on in. We're doing atrium decorations today. So my atrium, which is in the background of all my streams, is kind of naked right now. 
Uh, so feel free to drop in suggestions. It could be anything. So far we've got a bag of jelly beans. And we're working on our clear um, gelatinous friend here that can uh, help people breathe in hostile environments. So we're just uh, working on getting that done. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> yes. So today, if you want, you can uh, list any decoration that's, of course, safe for work. Uh, and we will put it in the atrium. Kind of get it decorated. Okay, so now this... This one's going to be our rib layer, because we're going to make it like the comb jellyfish with the rainbow. With the rainbow ribbing, so let's turn this down. This existence afraid that this ban removal request can't be touched because of the lack of context. This action has to be made from the streamer after stream. Okay, I can indeed do that. I did not realize I had one there, but I will definitely look into it. So we're just gonna get the pattern, and then we're gonna go in and put a rainbow gradient in it. There we go, kind of like that. I don't know if I want them connected. We'll leave them disconnected. They're not connected on the comb jelly. We will not connect them here. We'll go here, we'll do a clipping mask, and then we'll get just some rainbow colors in. Let's see, uh, we need orange now. And then yellow. And then Do a green. Uh, then we need like a blue. And like a purple, but not this purple. This purple's too dark. So let's go lighten it up. And then we need like a cyan towards the top. Okay, we're gonna merge these. We're going to turn it down to 50. We'll duplicate this. So let's get a little bit of a blur on it and turn this into an add layer. So it's kind of glowy. So it can be a glowy. I think I'm going to turn this down a little more. And then I think I'm gonna merge these. Nope, we're gonna leave them unmerged. I need to take a soft brush, but like a soft eraser, and kind of erase away these harsh, harsh edges. But I need to make this lower. Mall cat, big mouth, cry for food, like never been fed before. Deaf been fed 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, cat do be do that, huh? Okay, we will add hungry screaming cat to our list of decorations. 
There we go. That way it's not so harsh. He's kind of peeking in and out. Let me just go and erase this. You know, I thought Popcat too. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that sounds like a Popcat. Okay. Here we go. And then let's get their eye spots in. Am I? I'm still on the wrong eraser. Or no wrong eraser. Wrong brush. Cannot talk communicator errors today. Had to look at it, but that wasn't the one I had in mind, really. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down. Eye spots typically aren't that big. Do I want to lower the eye spots? I like it with the bigger eyes. We'll go with the bigger eyes. Is it? Yeah, okay. Need to make this one a little longer. Okay, and then they need to move in between the two layers. And then I think I'll just add a definition line um, between some of these parts here. Then we'll say this one could be a clipping mask to the first layer. What about eyes are closed as if having a feel of serenity? Blind fly that intentionally noticing you until you disturb their sleep. Vertical eyes. Yes, uh, we can definitely do that. So let me adjust this a bit. And then we'll uh, go do that once I'm done with these, these lines. Turn those down. That way they just have some definition, but they're not a hindrance. Okay. Clear those out. And some sleepy eyes. I found the cat I was thinking. It's on TikTok. Okay. I have a Discord, so if you don't mind, you can go drop it into our Discord here. You can drop it in the meme channel, because why not? Uh, and I'll pull it up and we can use it as reference for the atrium. Kind of like this SVG. Kind of just like a... Sleeping... Lazy sleeping eye. He looks so freaking cute. I adore him. I would die for him. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a thing real quick. I'm gonna duplicate this. That, but rotated, having one on each side. So... Oh, 360 vision, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. Let me 
get this one a little close. That way when the eyes are open, they're kind of like on all sides. There we go. And they can see all the world with their knowing eye spots. What do you think? I think it's freaking amazing. It's so precious. I think that's a really neat idea. So I'm gonna take these real quick. I need to get some of the ribbing. Okay, we'll just duplicate this and flip it this way. Okay, and then these two need to be all the way on the other side. And they also need to increase the opacity so we can see it a little better from the other side. So I think about 60. Yes. That way we can denote that it's on each of those. Oh, let me undo that. Because I also need to do it on the like tail like appendage. Like so. I combine slightly the alien vibe along the cuteness instead of a clear kid-like visual for kids. Yes. It's as if it was Hanazuki. I found that, by the way. Hanazuki is free on YouTube and I have it saved. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet, but it's saved into my playlist. So I'm going to be able to, to go along with that here soon. I am going to group these. We'll get rid of our sketch there. It's fine. Take all the time you need. So there's just a couple things I need to address on this and that's just... I want that to be a little different. There was a little, this little knob sticking out. And then overall, I do as I usually do with art. He's on a walk, so let's straighten him out a bit. And he'll be our little atrium pal back there. Just hanging out, resting, have a great time. This is so perfect. Okay. Uh... Let me uh, see if we have something in our Discord now. And I guess I don't need comb jelly on the screen anymore because uh, we did what we needed to do with it. So we'll remove comb jelly. Okay, let's see here. Fun memes. Okay. Let me pause this. And we'll... We'll all react to this absolutely mad cat. Okay. I'm actually going to really TikTok. 
gonna hide the screen like that. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a um we're gonna switch over to media real quick. I'll put up my little error sign and then we'll do a uh display capture. There we go. Okay. I could take down this error sign actually. If I knew what I was doing. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. I I can work with that. Definitely. I can work with that. Let me go ahead and ba -do -ba -do. let's get back to the art. Turn the music back on. Uh, let me do the doodle real quick. So I don't forget. Maybe we'll have them on like this side. With a screaming cat. He's real upset about it. Gonna let you know. You have not paid your... Your dues. And they were kind of like, just all front. We'll put a little bit of back. And of course I'll fix this up. They had straight tail. If looking more alien as cat, maybe ears can be placed on the chin as if it were a beard. That is intriguing. We will come back to it. This is just my reminder. I have to get to Cryptic's jar of jelly beans first, or a bag of jelly beans. And then we will uh, address the cat. Address the cat in the room. But right now we're into some jelly beans. I'm gonna go ahead and darken it, turn it to a multiply layer. Okay, and we will go back to this brush. What's a good jelly bean bag color? Cute, you're good at drawing, thank you. I have practiced a lot. Here I am looking up a bag of jelly beans. Jelly bean bag. Do we go with the iconic ones like Skybler? Uh, should we look at the um, the iconic Sky Blue? Yes. I was gonna say, um... Yes, okay, I see there there are some with that color. That's kind of this. So we'll go with that. Sky blue jelly bag. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be kind of propped up, I think. Let's, uh, prop it up kind of like against this stone here. That'll be kind of the placement of the jelly beans. 
Let me turn down this multiply layer. And it's gonna be kind of bent over. Kind of like this. Because they're not usually very structured and stiff. So this one's going to be kind of bent over. I don't need to turn that down. I meant to get a clipping mask. Um, we'll leave this one normal for now because usually they have white on them too. I just need to map out what that looks like. Kind of like this. I'm gonna come back down here. They need some package ridge along the top. It'll kind of be shaped more like that. And then a package ridge down here at the bottom. I'm gonna turn that off because I think I've got what I need and then they usually have like a clear window where you can see some of the the beans so we'll cut out a clear window here this is where our, our uh, beans are gonna be I need to turn that up Clear that out. We'll just clean up any leftover residue. There we go. And then I think I'll do like I just did. We will have, as we do blue, we'll do a complementary color and do a yellow. Get a bean. This will be our bean. Put it about right there. And then I'm going to get some text on here. Not add a photo, add text. Here we go. I like that. Jelly beans with a question mark? <laughs> I think that's funny. Okay. I think Cryptic will enjoy that. Now let me find a, a nice beanie script. I think this one will do. Put it there, and then we're going to... That white silver before you erased the line made it look like the bean head sheen. The sheen of the bean. That's funny. Uh, let's... Let's see, I've been... I've missed a couple things. SBG. It could be a shapeshifter who copy mentally random memory from anything, even if it doesn't make sense. So the sky blur uh, can be a mist. That would be funny, like a like a space mimic of sorts, but wherever it goes, it has like a glittery glow around it, like a misty glow, <laughs> which would make sense. I think I like I think that's cute with the jelly beans question mark. And cryptic mimic is a mimic. So I think that would fit really well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like it's the bag is asking you, am I jelly beans? I think I am. What do you think I am? Please think I'm jelly beans. Basically, an even trick for making fun that why the jelly beans? <laughs> yeah. What if the bag had something like jello beans? Ooh. Okay, let me undo this. So I can. So I can put that. Get it? Because it kind of looks like Golobian, but it's jello beans. <laughs> okay, uh. Let's warp it back into place now. Ooh, is your goal to create a uh, scenery where the items are alien mimic trying to be other things? That can be the case. Like I said, it's it's an atrium that most of it is synthetic. I can literally add anything into existence here. Uh so if you want it to be alien themed, I will definitely do that. But if you want a normal thing, I can do that too. It's just, I am a foreign terrestrial. I heard you said Mimic, but it's the other chatter's name. <laughs> yes, yes, he's Cryptic Mimic. And so it's a play on his name and then with SBG's uh, play on uh, the mistype from blue to blur. So, uh, it can be like a mimic. This this bag of jelly beans is a mimic that um, does its job very poorly <laughs> and always has a glittering mist around it. So it's sky blue with a blue blur and a mist type because I'm a Golobian and it's trying to, it's trying to fool me, the Golobian. <laughs> I, I like that. Welcome to the atrium where even our background items have lore. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick uh, hydrate and stretch break. Feel free to hydrate and stretch with me, friends. So, so let's, uh, we'll do our stretch first. Feel free to stretch with me, be all nice and limber. Why? Did I break it? I think I broke it. Okay. Let me see if hydrate works. Does hydrate work? Doesn't work either. How do I how do I manage to break those? That's the question. Okay, now I'll be right back, folks. I'ma fix some things. again. So, feel free to stretch with me. Oof, that feels so good. And uh, we'll do hydrate next. Feel free to take some water with me, friends. Stay nice and hydrated. That's good. Uh, let's see.
I'll do another stretch. I could always go for another stretch. Okay, uh, that felt nice. Thank you guys. All right, back to this absolute noodle of a of a mimic that thinks it's gonna pull one over on us. Uh, I'm stuck with a dilemma. Do I want to individually draw the jelly beans or am I literally going to take the time to make a jelly bean brush? I'll just draw them. That'll be that'll be quicker than making the jelly bean brush. A fact moment? Yes. Let me see. And we'll have some blue jelly beans. What are some other colors of jelly beans? I feel like green. Green's a popular color for a jelly bean. I need to kind of change the color of this red one, so maybe we'll add a pink jelly bean. Really, it's just there's too much of it over here. So we'll put a, a pink jelly bean kind of peeking out from the corner here. OK, and then I'm just going to copy this and do some variations of the shifting because I'm lazy. Art hacks, folks. Just a nice assortment of jelly bean colors. And then let's get our lines in. So let's do multiply. We'll grab this. Look at the bag ridges. Kind of the, this fold, like so. Some back ridges there. And then the fold line where, where it kind of folds there. And then let me change to this gray color when it goes into this white. And then I'll kind of pull it back out. 
And that one, it can be a little lighter. It doesn't have to be that dark. Yeah, that's better. Uh, then for the bean window, I'm gonna come over here and add like a... Oh, that's right. So this one will just move under. Then we'll lower the opacity some. About 35 and then I'm gonna add like a little shiny. You know, that shiny plastic kind of packaging. And let's add some detail to this bean real quick so we can make it a little more bean shaped and a little less macaroni looking. So I think like this. Jelly beans? Question mark. All right, let's get the, the mist around it. I'm gonna go ahead and group these. And then we'll put the, like the mist behind it, I think. Uh, we'll take this blue color. And we're gonna do kind of a mix of things. We're gonna go in here and do the soft brush. We'll lower this opacity a bit. And I think I'm gonna turn this to an add. We'll have a normal layer with an add layer. Let's see which order. Yeah, with the blue above it, that way it still looks kind of blue. Maybe turn out the blue layer a little bit more. And then let's get some, some like flex in the mist. I have a glitter brush here, so we'll use it. I think it needs to be a lighter color. Yeah. Kind of like a Twilight Vampire mimic, <laughs> where it always just kind of sparkles for no reason. Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of curate some of these sparkles by getting rid of a couple of these around the bottom of the bag. So that it's more the just the sparkles are from the mist kind of thing. See, this is looking kind of gray, so I'm going to raise the brightness and saturation. And I'm gonna... We're gonna erase this real quick. Let me turn this up. Turn the sparkles off so I can grab this color. I need to bring the mist a little more above the bag. Like so. Okay, and then this one could be the add layer. This one could be the 70%. I'll even lower this a bit more. Maybe around here. We'll add the sparkles back in. Yeah, I need to turn this layer down a bit more. So here's our Mimic bag of jelly beans. Mimics usually have like, oh goodness, Raid. I'm being raided. Obi, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and raiding me. Thank you so much. It's good to see your face. I hope you've been doing well. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Welcome everyone to the atrium. I'm Olo the Golobian. Uh, I am a member of the United Space Force Initiative. Come here to Earth to research and uh, study its culture through art, music, and games. So, you know, let's just have fun. Uh, here's some examples of my past art. It'll take just a second to load up, I figured out. But thank you guys so much for stopping in. It's good to see your faces. And I just enjoy having you around. Care package? Yes, I will do that for you. Let me, uh, we'll do the stretch first. Feel free to take care of yourselves with me, friends. Heck yeah! Thank you, SBG! It's the frog polka! It's one of my favorites! Okay. Now we'll do a stretch. You can trust. Yes, I can. Got faith in you. <laughs> okay, let's also... Uh, I'll start the music again and we'll do a hydrate. Be nice and hydrated, folks. If you notice, Fan Art of Ina is part of my carousel. That's the one in the Rowlet uh, outfit. That's uh, Opie's OC Ina. But thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. How's your voice doing? Is your, you know, recovery going well? All that fun jazz. I have a lot of SBG in here, too. It's just a lot of the stuff I did for SBG is stuff I'm proud of. Okay, we'll turn that off. Uh, today, uh, we are decorating the atrium, which is my background. It was kind of naked. So, so far, we've got a balloon alien that can help people breathe in harsh environments. Uh, he, he's kind of sleepy, only really wakes up whenever people bump into him. You must be. You, uh, you evolve as friendship evolves. Well, thank you. Uh, then we've got this Mimic that's trying to be a bag of jelly beans, but its fatal flaw is that it doesn't really know Earth culture very well. And it always sparkles. <laughs> so, it's not a very convincing Mimic. This one was given to us by our friend Cryptic Mimic, Opie. Well, today was a disaster. I spent the whole day trying to fix uh, MC server and I couldn't do it. No! Why Minecraft? Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry, Opie. I know how frustrating that must be. But if you gotta take care of yourself post-stream, feel free to. My voice is good. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, and then uh, one of our new space friends, um, uh, Stax, uh, went ahead and suggested a screaming cat. So that's what we'll be moving on to next. But everyone is allowed to participate. So if you have an idea for decorations for the atrium, please feel free to submit them. I need to... Maybe another fatal flaw of this... Of this uh, cryptic is that it doesn't really know... Or this mimic is that it doesn't really know the size of things because that bag of jelly beans is like the size of a human torso. <laughs> Which I I think is hilarious. We're gonna keep it. Sleeping owl. I can definitely add a sleeping owl. Okie doke. Costco size. Yes. But instead of the jar, they decided to put it in a bag this time. Okay, let me get in the doodle of the sleeping owl. So I have a memory. Maybe I'll put it here next to my lamp. Let me see. I can also put in... Whoops, that's way too large. A, uh, a new coral here and we could have it sleeping on the coral. The corals typically grow 
up higher. This world pretty much reflects the human world, or pretty much inspires the value of silence and sounds as art. The really beautiful thing. Uh, let's see. I can have them right here. I have a space. So we could do... Like an owl here. And I'll add a little Z so I remember that they're sleeping. And then we'll go and complete that. Uh, I probably will wind up moving them. Just so that they're... All my decorations aren't focused in the corner where our, my face sits. Sleeping creatures, screaming, squeaking balloon bodies. It is quite the cacophony, you know? Luckily, it's a it's a virtual atrium, so it comes with a mute button if I if I ever need it. Uh, let me complete this care package. Boop. Okay, so now we're down to screaming cat. So we'll lower its brightness. Again, I draw everything on a wonk, so I gotta untilt it. Uh, Stax, if you're still around, do you want this to be a replica of the Screaming Cat, or do you want it to be some fantastical version of it? Either way, it's fine. Like I said, it's a it's a virtual atrium, with the exception of my sleeping rock. So we can literally do anything and everything in between. Do your magic. Okay. Uh, I need to fix the background for a second. Let me... There we go. It's just a hair off for some reason. So there's that little white line there. There we go. It looks like uh, this world was made by influence of human imagination because this world was alive's sentient, uh, sentinel of the creation. Yes, uh, please, I enjoy the ideas I'm hearing. Cool. So, SBG's idea to make this a more otherworldly creature was to move the ears. So let me get my, my sketch brush back. Okay, yeah. And to have them like more down here or something. I'm on the wrong brush, aren't I? Yes, that would explain things. There we go. So like more down there. I'll make sure they have little footsies. something up here. I'm 
not quite sure yet. Turn down my eraser size. I'll figure it out as I go. Let's go ahead and change this to multiply. We'll turn this layer down. And that cat was a tabby, so let's just go with tabby for now. We'll start with a base of white. And then we'll go from there. suggestion ideas for your screaming cat. Yes, SBG is asking if she can uh, do some suggestions. Of course. Go ahead, SBG. You've got the all clear. something with the tail so it's not just a flat tail. I'm gonna edit the shape a little bit. If you don't feed this creature, it'll grab you with its weird tail cloth. Thing. You don't want that. You do not want that. Let's see. You know, I was supposed to get like notified when my ads were fixing to come up, and I think it just went by without telling me at all. I'm sorry, guys, if that happened. I don't really mean for you guys to sit through ads while I'm doing stuff. I mean, Wanted to switch to the BRB when it was happening, but uh, I don't know. I was looking too much at the art, I think. I'm sorry if you guys had to sit through ads on my behalf. Maybe we will do like a little something up here. I'm sad that I can't catch up with your streams now because you stream when it's 2 to 5 a.m. for me. I was so sad because I literally, whenever I came back to the country we live in from visiting America, I can't watch Opie and I can't watch uh, Break and Lily <laughs> because they stream like we, we are on opposite ends of the, uh, the stream spectrum of the day. It's it's so sad. So I watch the VODs, but it's it's really sad because I want to be there live for everyone. I can still catch Cryptic because Cryptic just streams at the weirdest hours. Okay, uh, we've got a suggestion. Let's see. Paws are balloons, like trampolines. This cat can jump high altitudes in exchange for the speed compared to other cats. Tail is uh, drops like glue or slime for fixing balloon creature. Mouth uh, are not sharp teeth. It is used for holding balloon creatures. 
from floating away while tries fixing them. So it's like a a creature that is a balloon repair. Uh, balloon critter repair. I need to get a schedule, probably cryptic, for your own sanity. I can't imagine that streaming at like 1 a.m. is uh, pleasant for you. Well, it could be. You'll have to tell me if it is. Instead of hunting, they help them. I completely understand. What do you think of that idea, Stax? The teeths are like suction cups. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, like toilet plungers. Okay, so they're into it. So we'll have... Um, some drippies. I started to play as uh, stay late, so I hope I will be able to watch some more. Well, thank you so much, but if, also if you need to, um, like I said, take care of yourself or, um, you know, if you need to rest and stuff, I understand, but I always enjoy having you around when I can't have you. So it'll be like excreting its its glue from the tail. Cat screams because acts like an ambulance warning of the presence and possible arrive for the aid. Oh, that'd be cute though if it was still like a cat sound like mew mew mew. mew. <laughs> then I, I I did it of course because I. I suck at stuff sometimes. Here we go. That made this assistance giggle. I'm glad. Yes. Nia. Nia. Okay. And let's try to get the, okay, so the feet, maybe we'll shape them like moon boots. Do you guys know what moon boots were? <laughs> okay, so I don't know if it made it outside of the United States, but there was this toy in the United States that is banned now because it was so dangerous. Um. Because it was it was so dangerous that they they had to stop it. Yeah, I'll be doing sleep soon. I'm finally getting a bit sleepy. Okay, Obi, thanks for stopping by. Uh, never got the pleasure to try. Okay, let me put this in. These, my friends, are moon boots. They're moon shoes. So they were like these little sandals that humans would put their feet in. And then it was basically a set of trampolines. So if you look at the bottom of them, they're basically suspended over this hole. And there's just elastic bands connected to the shoes that would spring them up whenever you jumped on them. A lot of injured ankles and legs with this toy, which is why it is, why it is banned. Mood boots, yes, cryptic. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So these beauties, um, maybe I'll make the feet kind of the same shape. <laughs> just cause, just cause. Okay, uh, we'll remove this. I need to, um, so the idea could work. But maybe 
where they're like this shape. And then we'll we'll figure out the biological mechanisms later. <laughs> I think they should not have banned it. Instead, slapped a big warning sticker and let the humans have at it. I mean, it's America. Yeah. There are a lot of toys from that era that were banned um, because of their dangers. I remember it all happened like kind of at once too. Like once one lawsuit went down, a million went down and just a lot of toys got taken off the market around that time. Okay, we'll give them big bouncy booty feet. And I mean booty as in boots, not buttocks for clarification. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way down. Yeah, fireworks are easy to obtain. Yeah, in some areas. Yeah, that's the key to, uh, note there. Because technically, okay, let me say this. Like, technically, there's a lot of places where fireworks are banned because of fire hazard uh, in the United States, but it's not necessarily enforced. So you'll still hear and see a bunch of fireworks. Um, on New Year's, on the Independence Day that they celebrate, um, general holidays, just fireworks everywhere in these places where they're banned, so. America's weird like that. But they get really weird when it comes to children. So in Germany, there's these toys called Kinder Eggs. And they're basically a chocolate egg shell, and inside is a, it's a toy that's got little parts where you put them together. So you build the toy yourself, and then you like... Usually they're like wind-up toys, or they're little figurines. Uh, but in America, they ban them because they said it would be a choking hazard because if a kid bit into the egg, Feasibly, they could choke on the parts. Now, I don't know if there were any confirmed cases of a child actually having that happen to them. Uh, but they, they went ahead and banned Kinder Eggs. And so they came out with Kinder Eggs USA version. And it is... It really sucks. So, <laughs> I remember getting the original Kinder Eggs and being so excited. Let me show you Kinder Eggs. Freedom in America is quite a superficial lie. It, it really is. Okay. So this is the American version of Kinder Eggs. So they're called Kinder Joy, and it's a plastic egg that is separated into two parts. And there's like the scoopable chocolate thing you can have on one side and the toys on the other. So they separated them into two halves, and that's how they do Kinder Eggs in the United States. Now for my US audience who may not know what a, a Kinder Egg looks like normally, I will show you the real Kinder Eggs that you're not allowed to get in the United States. So these are the real Kinder Eggs. They're a chocolate shell around a capsule. So the whole thing about choking on parts wasn't really a problem because they have like a gosh upon ca capsule to them. Um, but still. It's a whole thing. Anyway, it comes with that, a little set of instructions or something for your putting your toy together. 
you eat the the chocolate around it and you put your toy together and have fun and i think in the american version the toys are already assembled because they didn't want the whole choking hazard thing to come up again so they're literally just in the american version they're just a toy so so that kind of sucks for those of you who did not know that maybe that was a uh a thing in existence let's see we'll remove this hey it's less brain cell uh stacks you may not know this my regulars know this but all the songs you're hearing today were made by me we do music making on tuesday american here and i have to attest loads of american parents are not very attentive they are not like there was recently a woman sued mcdonald's because a chicken nugget touched her daughter for four minutes straight in the car and instead of like saying oh my bad i wasn't paying attention and the chicken nugget with its uh, prolonged exposure left a two degree burn which is like a little a little welt you know nothing permanent but still a painful little token and uh she won she won she sued mcdonald's saying that the packages weren't properly labeled as being hot which I don't know how. I thought all McDonald's wrappers had like hot written on them. A second degree burn from a fresh nugget. So it, it wasn't that the nugget touched the kid and burned them. It was that the nugget got lodged in between the car seat the components and the child and sat there for four minutes before the parent uh, stopped to do anything about it. And she had the parent had admitted that she had heard the child in distress so she like she knew that her her kid was in a bad place but like still drove until they got home and didn't like pull over so i'm still you know jury's still out on that one in my opinion or maybe eating a taco bell <laughs> Um, let me see here. I need to this a little bit. There we go. But yeah, so uh, she won that case of them not properly labeling their nuggets as being hot, 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 hot. Some lady sued McDonald's because the water used to make their coffee was too hot and she spilt in her legs holding it while driving in one. Well, that one actually is a legitimate case. So whenever Americans like to talk about frivolous lawsuits, that's the famous one. But she had a legitimate case. The coffee spilt on her lap and immediately caused first degree burns. We're talking about peeling flesh. We're talking about her genitalia being mutilated. She had to have several corrective surgeries on her groin. And at that time, McDonald's wasn't labeling things as being hot or dangerous. And it was found that they were keeping their coffee at like 40 degrees or something. Let me look this up. They were keeping it at a ridiculous temperature. Like coffee should not have been served at that heat. So hers was a legitimate case. It wasn't a slap lawsuit. Uh, for those of you who do not know, slap lawsuits are just um, like frivolous lawsuits. So let me see, what was McDonald coffee temp before? Okay, so uh, yeah, they were keeping it at 70 degrees Celsius. They were keeping their coffee at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, that's how hot their coffee was. I'm surprised their cups didn't melt at that heat. But they were paper. Well, got to go. Nice, nice uh, rest of the stream. Love y'all. Thanks, Opie. Have a good rest. And thank you for staying up. Um you know, way, way early into the evening and morning to see us. Get some good rest. Love you, benches. 
Um, yeah, that's too hot. Yeah, that's way too hot. So, uh, yeah. Uh, she, uh, the McDonald's coffee lawsuit was a legitimate case. Uh, now, the media uh, was kind of paid off by the corporations to make it seem as if the situation wasn't as severe as it actually was, to make it seem like she was just suing them frivolously in order to protect the special corporate interest. It was a concerted effort by the mega corporations to try and prevent further lawsuits like that from happening by painting her as a illegitimate party in the matter whenever their coffee caused immediate disfiguring burns to her body when she spilt this coffee on her. And now they keep it at a much normal temperature. You know, something that won't scald your flesh off your body because of that lawsuit. So this, and she was an elderly woman, by the way. This wasn't like some some youngster in their youth, she was like, if I remember correctly, she was like a... Let me look it up. I think she was 60 years old. So not exactly the best person to be in a surgery ward for long stints of time. How old was McDonald's? victim. 79. She was 79 years old when she got the McDonald's third degree burns on her body. Was she holding the coffee between her legs or it spilt while holding it? She was holding it in her hand so she also have to had um, some corrective stuff done to her hand. So it was in her hand uh, there was like some turbulence that happened, either like speed bump or car jerk, and it spilled out onto her hand and into her lap. So she wasn't like holding it between her legs or anything. It was just holding it in a car and it spilt on her. Before thoughts are gone, did you like the idea the existence suggested for your screaming cat? That's a uh, for stack. Okay. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, it was, it was... Yes, I like the ideas. Yeah, the, um... It was a whole terrible situation. And the way the media so readily vilified her was disheartening. And it didn't come out for many, many, many years after the fact did her true story get out and so she was just kind of vilified for a long time by corporations for the sole purpose of ensuring that they wouldn't get sued by everyday citizens for dangerous products and it's it's a cycle that they continued for a long time May this creature become a beautiful symbol, if need, evolve aspects through time. Yes, that's fine. So how do you feel about the chicken nugget winning? So that one's a little different. So that one, it was not an immediate burn. And the, I looked it up. The temperature that they kept the nuggets at was enough to prevent food poisoning, but not enough to burn a person on immediate contact. So it was um, just an example of, I think, negligent parenting because the nugget was pressed against the child. The child was screaming in distress, telling her mom that something was wrong. And the lady waited until they got home to check. And that's when she figured out, uh, discovered the, the injury to the child. So I think in that case, the parent was liable for the injuries more than McDonald's was. But that's my opinion on that case. Now the, the coffee lady was legitimate. This one 
seems a little exaggerated to me. But she definitely... She won that, so... <laughs> I don't really agree that... There's this, um... At least in America, I can't speak for other countries. But there's this degree of, well, if it didn't have a label saying I couldn't do it, how was I supposed to know that I wasn't supposed to do it? And it's your fault for not labeling it that I can't do it. So whenever you're reading um, American uh, like instructions and safety pamphlets that come with products, they'll have like the wildest stuff in it. Um, let me see, dude. Um, and so the stuff would be like, uh, for example, I got uh, an air fryer, right? Because we don't have a stove in our in our place, the country we live in, they don't really have stoves. I got an air fryer, an American air fryer, and uh, one of the things immediately on it was do not place on stove while uh, using this product. And I thought, who's setting this, this absolute unit on a stove, this electrical component that's like a human torso on top of a stove top? But one of the very first videos I seen whenever I went to look into like a recipe for it immediately the first video i watched uh the lady put it on her stove so it's it's a whole thing basically dangerous yeah so these things exist for a reason and the reason is americans oftentimes do not use common sense Okay, let's turn that down, or turn that off, and turn this down. And then we can get in our better shapes and stuff. Okay, let's get in these suction cup teeth. Get me out of here. I would if I could, but it's expensive. You just kind of got to live with it. I forgot. That needs to close off. So we'll have, I think we'll just have two big suction cup teeth. And let me move this one a little more. We can get a little more appealing angle there. And then I'm going to duplicate it. We'll flip it this way. I'm going to make these ones uh, smaller. Two smaller bottom teeth. Section cups. I'm going to move these top ones, at least this one here, so that it looks like it's screaming a little more. Let's move them, like, up here. Like that. So it looks more like it's actually screaming. I'm going to change this to like a pink. It's less harsh than that black that was there. And then we will go ahead and uh, I think I'll get in the 
eyes real quick because we're out of time for the day. I'm gonna change that. I don't like that. Yeah, I think I like it with the eyes to the side more. Okay. I will work on these later this afternoon and I'll be posting them over on the socials later. But that's all the time we have for today. Let me close this out. Um, let's find a friend to go raid and support. Let me get over here. Let's find someone to pass these vibes on to. We'll see if uh, any of my friends are doing art today. Let's see, raid. Uh, what do you know? I've got a couple people. But only one of them's doing art. Let's see what they're working on. Looks like she's doing emotes. These look super cute. So we'll go over and raid our friend KatiaBots underscore Orbit. Before we go, I gotta do all the obligatory uh, shameless post. You can find me at all these places. If you're a space friend here, you can copy this message. And if you're a USI donor, which is a subscriber, we have a special uh, raid emote just for you to use. So, uh, if you guys would like, please copy this message and follow us over to support this super space friend. But that's all for today. So until next time, have fun space friends!